Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is finally time for the second part of the hidden Pokemon in the Teal DLC. Your support in the first video was gigantic and I want to thank you for that. It really gave my channel a big boost and brought a lot of new people here, so welcome if you're new. If you haven't watched the first video I recommend watching it first so you know what's going on. Today I want to tackle the final mask of Ogre Pond and a two stage fake mon line and a completely new single stage. But let's start with the mod you are actually here for, the one based on the teal mask. So, the teal mask is super complex, um, more complex than the other three, so I decided to take a few, uh, let's call it creative liberties and simplify it. As for the animal I wanted to base it on, I chose the mole, more specifically the moles from the Avatar franchise, but there's more to the design obviously. I decided to give it attributes linked to farming and gardening. Its arms are shaped like shovels which it uses to dig around in the ground. The thing on its back is a yoke which is usually used on cows or horses to drag around carts and stuff like that. Its tail is both shaped like a plow, plow? I think it's plow. and a scythe combined with a flower buds. At first it uses its arms to carefully loosen the dirt and remove any stones. Then it uses its tail to make lines in the ground, where it puts in seeds for crops. Once the crops are fully grown, it uses its tail to cut it down again. It is said this fake mon brought the people of the Kitakame region the knowledge on how to farm. For the colors I used brown, green and blue, which were picked from the mask. Uh, however, I accidentally stole the color scheme of a Pokemon line by Pewdiesley Gym. I hope you're fine with that gym. <laughs> If not, uh, I don't know, sorry. Anyways, here we have the pure grass type Agrinio. The name is a fusion of Agricultura, the Spanish term for farming, and the Japanese term Nojo, which means farming. Agrinio, together with Taijubun, Ladrificio, and Izuma, form the civilization quartet. Taijubun brought humans fire and warmth. Taijubun taught them how to build. Izuma taught them how to fish and sailing while Agrinio showed them the ways of farming. Rumors have it that these four traveled the earth thousands of years ago, leaving behind culture wherever they spent times with humans. Over the centuries the ways of living changed and they were no longer needed, so they disappeared. What do you think of the final addition to the culture quartet? Even though I'm pretty happy with all four, this one is probably my favorite one since it's kinda cute, but please let me know your opinions in the comments. The next three fake mon are based on images from the game that look like they are supposed to be Pokemon, but I just wasn't able to figure out which ones. If they actually represent real Pokemon, please let me know if you, you were able to figure it out, because I definitely wasn't. The first one is from Alphanada. You have this wall with Pokemon mosaics on it, and we have the iconic ones like Kirby, maybe Wigglytuff, Undead Ladybug, Lord Helix's little brother, just a word, knock off Taurus, a cooler dance bus, and the fireball plant from Super Mario. And the last one was actually the one I wanted to use, even though it ends up not looking even close to what I just said. So at first I just broke down the shapes, and even though to me the original mosaic looked undeniably like the plant from Mario, I couldn't see it once the shapes were sketched, I somehow ended up drawing a baby monkey. I have no idea how that happened, to be honest, but baby monkey it is. I mean, it's super cute. For the typing, I'm gonna go with normal, and I know we already have a normal type monkey, but I don't know, it just, it just reads normal to me, but the evolution will gain a secondary typing. Fun fact, the second stage was drawn for this one, and I only decided this will be the pre-evolution to the other one because I didn't want to include two separate monkeys in this video. Its legs are too short to really jump, so it relies on its evolution to carry it on trees and protect it from larger Pokemon. Here it is, a pure normal type. I have no name for it, so if you have an idea, feel free to share it in the comments. It could act as a counterpart to the rather non-normal looking Shrudel and art-based Pokemon. Shrudel are often seen chasing this fake mon around, trying to paint its awfully plain body. Its evolution is based on a mask which is worn by a character in a cutscene. I want the fake mon to have a similar personality or appearance of the child, 
because I would guess the kid chose a mask that is somewhat representing itself or at least somewhat fitting to its personality. They are very protective of their youngs and chase away shrudels and even graphii if necessary. However, they try to be playful while doing it to not scare the children or its opponents since it knows they don't mean any harm. That's why it has such a friendly expression. I at first wanted to give it the fighting type until I realized it doesn't do any damage against poison types like Frudel and Graphii, so I changed it to ground because this fake one is mainly on the ground. Uh, yeah. If attacked by Graphii, they tend to throw dust at them to bring the small ones to safety before challenging the attackers. Their rivalry is a more friendly one and rarely anyone gets hurt. And the last one is based on a mask from a cutscene again. It is seen laying around next to a mask representing Hisui and Sorak, which I definitely instantly recognized and was not excited to create a cool fox fake one. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really remember what I thought when making this fake one, only that I wanted to make some sort of stone guardian walls that it could put in front of it to block attacks. On these walls there are portals made out of psychic energy which can deflect attacks. I'm not sure why, but the design kind of reminds me of Nose Pass. Maybe it's the body shape. I think it's too different to be a regional variant or a regional fake, but maybe they have like the same ancestor? Or this is an ancient version of Nose Pass? Maybe I will go with that. I mean, its nose isn't that big, but it can grow over time. I already spoiled one of the typings uh, at Psychic, the other one is gonna be rock like Nose Pass, so yeah, I just decided it's gonna be an ancient Nose Pass. And here is Kitakami Nose Pass. They were used to temporarily repair houses after Ogopon destroyed them, and to block bridges afterwards since the villagers got scared. They are incredibly slow, but also very sturdy and protective. So, these were 4 more hidden Pokemon in the Teal Mask DLC. Which one is your favorite? I have at least one more hidden Pokemon I could draw, but I'm really struggling with that, so I don't know if there will be a part 3. If you have more hidden Pokemon in the DLC or in the main game, please let me know in the comments and I will look into them and maybe make a part 3 if I get enough inspiration. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and see you in the comments.